Hey guys, so for today's video, we are doing another dupe video. Alter Ego has duped the Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette with their Sakura Palette. This video is kindly sponsored by Alter Ego, but I would be doing this video whether or not it was sponsored. So in this video, we're gonna be comparing both palettes side by side. I'm gonna show you some up close swatches so you can see how the shades compare. And I'm gonna show you how to do this eye makeup look. We're on one eye, I'm wearing the Alter Ego Palette and the other eye is the Natasha Palette. Go ahead and take your guess now on which eye you think is which. The Alter Ego Sakura palette retails for $20 and you can use my code ANGELA10 to save 10%, whereas the Natasha Denona Retro Glam palette is $69. So let's dive into these palettes and compare them side by side. So I hope you guys like this view. I just bought this new like overhead tripod thing and this is my very first time using it. I feel like it looks good, but let me know your thoughts. So let's open up these palettes and do a quick comparison. Because when Alter Ego first sent me the picture of this Sakura palette, I didn't really know what palette it was duping in. I couldn't figure it out, but then I was like, oh, it is retro glam. It's just kind of funny how the whole layout of this looks completely different to this palette. My first impression just going off of the layout of the palette, I do prefer the layout of retro glam because I kind of like how it looks like the shades are kind of scattered around almost. Like you have the pinky shades kind of scattered throughout, same with like these minty green colors, but I can see why maybe like beginners would really like the layout of this palette because it is kind of in like clusters and quads. Like clearly right here you have all the green shades together, you have all the pink shades together, and then all the neutrally tones together right here. So I can see both ways, but personally my eyeballs just prefer this one. Because when I see a palette kind of jumbled around like this, it makes my eye jump around and I can kind of come up with different color combos that way, where when I see a palette like this, I feel like my mind only wants to do like those quads that I see. But that is just my brain, so let's do some swatches of the comparable shades. All right, I'm starting with Wilt, and that is going to be Duping Lucy. So this is Wilt from Alter Ego, and this is Lucy from Natasha. Next, we're gonna do Hazy and Faye. So again, this is Alter Ego, this is Natasha. I do like to blow away any powder that's kind of popping up if you see me blowing a lot. <laughs> we have Spring and Holly. So far these shades are looking very similar. We have Radiant and Palladian. Yep, so far, so good. We have Fair and Marlin. Now we have Prime and Flutter. Next is Liv and Oscar. Next is Petal and Belle. Next we have Pale and Fringe. Next is Sky and Sage. All right, now we're on to the last row. We have Lush and Jazzy. I do feel like as I'm swatching these, the Alter Ego ones are maybe a little bit more powdery, but shade-wise, they are pretty dang close. Oops, did I swatch the wrong one? Well, let's swatch the next deepest one. Maybe those will be closer. I might have gotten these ones mixed up. Okay, we got Plum. Oh, I think... Oh, Lush is supposed to be Maxi. Let me swatch this one. Oh yeah. I think I just got these two deeper ones mixed up. So like this one's technically supposed to be in this spot. I guess I'll just swatch Maxi then because I'm pretty sure it's the one I didn't swatch. Okay, that looks right. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I just got those flip flop because they're so deep in the palette. So Lush is supposed to be similar to Maxi and Plum is supposed to be similar to Jazzy. So just look at it like that diagonal right there. Last three shades, we got Cherry. Flare. Ooh, that swatched really nicely. We got Twinkle and Oz. And last shade, we have Grove and Evergreen. 
This is the formula that I typically don't really like from Natasha. It's like the cream to matte powder shadows. I just find them a little tricky to work with. And I can tell that Alter Ego tried to dupe that formula and it didn't swatch that great compared to the Natasha one, but I'm just not a fan of this formula in general. All right, I'm pretty sure you can see all the shades here, but as you can see, I feel like Alter Ego did a great job at duping the shades, like every single swatch looks pretty much like a perfect dupe just except these ones so I got those and mixed up but that's my bad so shade wise I think alter ego crushed it with duping the shadows but now let's apply them on the eyes as always when I do these comparison videos I have two different sets of brushes here so I'm not mixing the formulas together I prime my eyes the exact same way with the rare beauty eyeshadow primer and I did not set it with any kind of powder we'll use the alter ego palette on this eye and Natasha on this eye let's get started I'm gonna start with the Sigma e54 in the shade wilt and I'm gonna start by packing this shade in my crease. I am picking up a little more shadow. I'm gonna take a little clean blending brush. This is a Sigma E27, and I'm just gonna blend around those edges. And then on the other eye, I'm taking a clean E54 in the shade Lucy. And again, softly blending out the edges of this shade. All right, just that first shade, I feel like we're looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna take Hazy on a Sigma E25 and I'm gonna use that to deepen up the crease. So kind of directly in my eye socket. And then on my other eye, I'm taking Faye, just wiggling that back and forth in my crease. Now I'm gonna clean off my E54s on my Sigma Switch because I am gonna pick up a lighter shade. I'm gonna start by wetting my E54 and I'm gonna pick up the shade Radiant and I'm gonna apply this on my entire eyelid. looks so frosty on the eyes. I kind of like that. And this is showing up like pretty intense because I did wet the brush. So I have that on my lid and I'm going to be a little more careful as I'm going up towards my crease. So pretty much all the product is off my brush now and I'm just kind of like carving out this lid shape but very softly. It's not gonna be like super harsh looking. Then I'll go back to the E27 and just softly blend around that shimmer. And again, for the other eye, I'm wetting this E54 and we're picking up Palladian. All right, let's see how this shimmer shows up on the lid. So again, I'm trying to get most of the pigment on my lid before I move up into the crease. And then once there's less product on my brush, I'm moving it towards my crease and kind of patting it in. And then doing a soft blend with the E27. Okay, this is kind of interesting because I wet both brushes before I applied this shade and I feel like the Alter Ego side is looking a little bit more foiled, which I actually prefer. I feel like the shade doesn't look as like shimmery on this eye. I'm gonna go in one more time on my Natasha Denona side. See if I can build this up maybe. But I do feel like the blend looks better on this eye. And that's just me being really, really picky. Now I'm gonna clean off my E54s again. I keep <laughs> switching shades. And I'm gonna pick up Plum and I'm gonna use that to deepen this outer part of my eye and kind of connect it into my crease right out here. 
I'm trying to mix like the greens with the neutral tones today. I think that could be really pretty. And then on my other eye, I'm picking up Jazzy, which is the correct duplicate shade. And I did not wet my brush for this step. I'm just applying the shadow as is. And I always have a harder time with the shape of my shadow on this eye just compared to this one because this eye is a little bit more hooded, just is shaped a little bit differently. Like I can never get like the little angle right out here. I'm gonna take my E27, just kind of blend around this. Try to fix this shape a little bit. I don't know why I always just struggle so hard with this eye. If you guys have a good eye, let me know which eye it is because my good eye is my left eye. Okay, but now I need to go back and blend out this side because I did not do that yet. Okay, those sides are blended out and my eyes look totally uneven right now. Like, what is happening out here? That's not the shadow's fault. Like, that is 100% my fault, by the way. I feel like, again, the alter ego side just looks more shimmery. Like, the shimmer is just appearing more than it is on the Natasha side. I'm adding a little more jazzy to this side to see if I can get my eye shapes to be even today. That would be great. <laughs> Okay, even with adding more jazzy to this side, I still believe this side looks more shimmery. All right, I went ahead and did my face makeup off camera. Again, I'm still kind of preferring how this eye looks, but again, the shape of this eye is really messed up and I'm hoping I can fix that as I do the lower lash line. I'm gonna start with the Sigma E30 in the shade Sky and that's gonna go along my lower lash line. I'm kind of glad this shade isn't showing up super bright. Like you can definitely tell it's green, but it's not like too bright of a green. Now on another E30, I'm gonna pick up Sage. And same thing. I feel like this eye is looking a little bit more pigmented, so I'm gonna touch up this eye. Now I'm just gonna take the E27 that I used on each eye and kind of blend around that green. I'm gonna wet my E30 again. Now I'm gonna pick up Twinkle. I'm just gonna add that to the lower lash line. And then for the other eye, I'm taking Oz. This eye's looking a little bit brighter on the lower lash line. Now I'm gonna pick up Prime. I'm gonna pop that in my inner corner. And then from Natasha, I'm gonna pick up Flutter. These two are looking very, very similar on the eyes, which I love because this is one of my favorite shades from the palette. All right, my mascara and lashes are on, and for my lashes, I'm wearing the Bright Lashes Half Lash in Flutter. I'm even having problems applying my lash to this eye, so I just kind of feel like I sucked at doing this eye today, but we're trying to look at the formula and the shades nonetheless. So again, looking at the eyes side by side, I feel like shade-wise, everything looks really, really similar. Just again, I feel like the Alter Ego eye has a little bit more shimmer and reflect on it. Here's what the eyes look like from far away. I still feel like you can't really tell a difference. Like if you were to look at me, it would just look like one eyeshadow palette. But if you were to get super up close, I think you would just see those subtle differences in the way that the formula looks on my eyes. But I do think that Alter Ego did a great job at duping this Natasha Denona palette. Again, you can use the code ANGELA10 to save 10% on this palette. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.